Happy Friday everyone. We've had a really nice couple of days. If you didn't mind the rain and the wind that we've had yesterday, uh, those 50s felt good on uh, Thursday and Wednesday. We did pass that 50 degree mark. Hard to believe that on Monday we were at 19 and Sunday over the weekend. 15 degrees. Keep in mind the average for this time of year is 27. So we have been all over the place the last couple of days because of that warm air. A lot of melting ice and that's why there is an ice jam along the Osable River. You can see that in between J and Osable Forks right along nine. That warning that flood warning is in effect until 530 this evening. You've got that ice breaking up and accumulating in the river and that's when it backs up all that water. This is more of a precautionary thing as a, uh, according to the National Weather Service. So just definitely keep that in mind if you're in that area and there could be some minor flooding in other areas as well because of that melting ice. Good improvement when it comes to that though because our temperatures are on the way down and that'll freeze a lot of our water up again. 30 degrees now in Burlington, 29 degrees in Plattsburgh. It's been a very quick and far drop compared to those 50s that we felt yesterday. 23 in Saranac Lake, still in the mid 30s to the south. That cooler air still working its way south and will eventually take over the entire area by tomorrow morning. All thanks to a wind that is very strong in Burlington right now at 20 miles per hour there currently. 12 miles per hour in Plattsburgh, 23 in Messina, all out of the northwest. Pulling in that colder air and it's also pulling in the drier air, which is why it actually looks really beautiful out there for most of us. This is a live look right now in Colchester. Plenty of blue skies showing up behind some of those clouds. You're going to find some clouds over our mountain ranges when you get that northwesterly wind. Definitely uh, likely that you'll see some of that in the Northeast Kingdom, some of that as well. And even a couple snow showers in the mountains. Not a bad thing after yesterday's rain that we got. They could certainly use it. This is a little boundary moving through, causing that northwesterly wind behind yesterday's cold front. But a high pressure system off to the west of us. This is settling in for tomorrow and that's going to bring us a nice clear sky tomorrow morning only contributing to that temperature drop. So when you're heading out tonight, know that temperatures are just going to continue to fall and pretty quickly by that six, seven o'clock hour tonight, 20 degrees for your Friday night in the teens. And we still have that wind that'll be around 10 to 15 miles per hour heading all the way towards 9, 10, 11 o'clock. And we get farther and farther from there. Tomorrow morning, the Champlain Valley right near that zero mark, a lot of single digits and sub zero temperatures. Again, that mostly clear sky kind of releases our blanket and allows that heat to be released. Uh, so we're going to drop pretty quickly later tonight and into early tomorrow morning. Here's that clear sky. Again, the mountains will have some clouds today. Overall, it's pretty quiet tomorrow morning. Very similar, partly to mostly cl clear sky into Saturday morning and afternoon. Saturday night, though, some clouds will be rolling on through. You're going to find a stray snow shower out of that into sat Sunday morning. Not a lot of snow, very little to no accumulation. Mostly just that cloud cover, which as you can see, burns off really quickly on Sunday and we get a nice clear sky for Sunday afternoon. So the weekend is quiet. It's a big outdoor weekend. People are going to be hiking. People are going to be skiing, things like that. It is going to be icy, so keep that in mind. Be prepared for those types of conditions out on the mountains and even on our sidewalks here in the valleys. We're going to get some of that ice freezing over with those very cold temperatures expected for Saturday uh, into Sunday as well. We stay pretty chilly, even though we are jumping a little bit temperature wise. Monday, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. It's going to be beautiful, very seasonable, maybe even a little bit warm, plenty of sunshine. Then we're back in the 40s with a chance for rain and snow by Wednesday.